Okay guys, so we just pulled up in the field here and looks like they use this 333E to load these round bales and probably load those up to go feed with. So um, we're gonna see if we can look. He said the left hand side was locked up, which would be this left hand planter here. And so I'll tell you what happens sometimes in these muddy um, in field situations is if the seal goes out in that planetary and it loses the gear lube in the planetary you don't know it because the mud and all the debris keeps it keeps it sort of washed off of there so you never really notice um, that that losing that oil in that planetary so um, one thing keep in mind is a uh, guy should uh, probably check these planetaries pretty regularly on these machines um there's probably a spec for that i don't know what that is right off hand but uh but we're going to go ahead and verify his issue make sure that that is the problem and then go ahead and see if we can tear that planetary assembly down on that left hand side to get this machine loaded um so that we can take it to the shop so we're in the machine now we're going to go ahead and use the joystick here and see if we can verify his issues you can see i have no motion out of the left side of this machine it will only go it will only work on the right hand side okay so if we could get that left hand side released um we could probably get this thing loaded on a trailer and get it to the shop and maybe get ahead of the rain that's coming in and so that we can get this uh repaired for this customer and get him back up and running okay guys so i finally got the cap uh off of the end of the planetary usually if you'll just take a hammer and get that snap ring off of there and tap that a few times it'll kind of get jump off of there and as you can see um we got a lot of metal down in the bottom and you can pretty well see that the planetary assembly is completely completely trashed we got bearings out no lubrication um you can see the needle bearings are completely dry there okay so i'm pretty sure that that's what happened um the seal went out we lost all the lubrication out of the planetary and with all the mud and the dirt and the debris around the planetary area um it's it keeps the oil washed off of there so you can't ever really tell so it's a pretty good idea to check those i'll look that spec up see what that is on checking and then also changing the um, gear lube in these planetary assemblies on this 333e we've removed the three stun gears here off of these pins here on this planetary assembly and we're going to remove this snap ring right here okay and then we should be able to pull that planetary out of there and at least get this side where it will actually freewheel and then we should be able to um, start the machine and drive with the right side and then we'll pull um, with a tractor or a pickup and pull this thing up on a trailer on the left side so i started the machine and move it moved it forward and reverse a few times until it pushed the drive shaft out and as you can see i'm losing um, a lot of uh, hydraulic uh, hydrostat fluid as a result of that but I was able to get the machine to move okay and pull just enough that I think that we may be able to load this fairly easy now and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can put the cover back on okay to stop the oil leak here and we'll see if we can load this machine I reinstalled the outer cover of the planetary assembly here as you can see and uh, left the input shaft in there of course it will not move because we move the remove the outer sun gears and the outer planetary housing so it's really not doing us a whole lot of good but we can go ahead and load the machine now by pulling on the left side and then driving on the right side um, we can load this machine on the trailer and get it to the shop now so We'll get to the shop, disassemble that. That's not always the case. Sometimes it's locked up bad enough that you have to really work pretty hard to get that input shaft out. But luckily this time, I just moved the machine forward and backward 
few times without the outer cover on and the outer planetary and it pushed the input shaft out enough and kind of got things lubricated in there just enough that we can freed it up where we can load the machine. So we'll get it to the shop. We'll show you what it looks like um, to replace that left-hand planetary hub. Check it out. So we got the 333E uh, in the shop now and we've got the track disassembled on this uh, left hand side pulled the track off and we're about to pull the planetary off of this side and go ahead and replace that that planetary since it did uh, damage it beyond repair after we get that planetary installed and get this ready to go uh, get it ready to fill up with lube we're going to talk about lubrication on these planetaries on this three 33e we've got the hub installed on the 333e here and as you can see caleb's got that timed there and it's in a position where we can fill this planetary with gear lube um, you can see he's got these plugs lined up to this would be your fill um, check. this would be your check for your level here and I'm assuming that you want lube at that at that port. Mm -hmm. When you feel here, this would be your drain. Okay, on the older hubs, those plugs are on the side of the planetary hub. Okay, so same goes for that. You would line those up in the same position to do that oil change, which we're going to do on the other side. We got it filled up with a John Deere synthetic gear lube, which I think is a really good alternative for gear lube um i guess what i've found that stands out to me is that it will reduce the temperature by about 30 to 40 percent with the synthetic gear lube and then also we went ahead and serviced the the right hand side here which does not have the level plugs on the out on the outside of the hub here they're on this the outer edge here of the planetary hub um, but same same way to check the level on on that gear lube on that older style planetary hub as well and I'll show you real quick the gear lube that we drained out of the you can see that it was pretty pretty good time to go ahead and change that since we replaced the hub on the left hand side and uh, also the spec on that is um, right around a thousand hours you should change that planetary um, lube on those planetaries on your track driven skid steer this is a 333e <clears throat> track and uh, that should be changed at a thousand hours um, i think it'd be a good idea probably to check that around 500 hours see what that looks like and i think that'd be a really good idea and don't forget this is a good al alternative here for gear lube is this john deere synthetic gear lube so keep that in mind larry the tractor guy signing out hey guys check out larry the tractor guy videos here other videos here subscribe here and buy all your john deere parts here we'll make it work i think gonna have to make it. we'll make it work come on let's go <laughs> we need to make you need some bloopers y'all already, already burned me out he's sitting in the sun over here man